Hi, welcome to another edition of Records in My Life on northerntransmissions.com. This episode features Dan Beckner of Merge Record from Merge Recording Artists Divine Fits. Hey, I'm Dan uh, from Divine Fits, and uh, I grew up in British Columbia in Couch and Lake. And when I first started getting into music, I uh, I was really into uh, Metallica. I think was the first. And I learned pretty quickly that those guys are great at playing guitar. And mm. as a 12-year-old kid, uh, I just couldn't match you know, the technical finesse of metal. But then I discovered this band, which is Sonic Youth. And I discovered this band through Nirvana, who were really popular at the time. And Sonic Youth was on a major, and they had just put a record called Dirty, uh, which I listened to and I loved, and then I got into their back catalog. Sonic Youth taught me that, that uh, Guitar wasn't necessarily just something you banged out chords on. You could you could make it sing and sound totally alien and build atmosphere with it. So uh, I have this band to thank for a lot of broken guitar strings and smashed up cheap guitars. After Sonic Youth, I uh, I discovered this band Fugazi, um, who you know Sonic Youth. I took a lot of musical inspiration from. In this band, I took musical inspiration and 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 just kind of an ideal for living, um, which might be kind of outmoded now, you know, 20 years after the fact, but, but at the time, Fugazi was this incredibly successful band that would play all over the world, anywhere, and, uh, and they had a huge fan base, and they still have a huge fan base, but they were pretty uncompromising in there. I mean, everybody knows Fugazi, they charged $5 for tickets, they, they didn't have management, they ran their own record label, and they were really challenging within the genre that they worked in. I was really into punk rock and the, and the uh, independent music scene in, in Victoria and Vancouver, and um, and Fugazi was always kind of the blueprint for me of how to how to conduct yourself. I think their philosophy just boils down to don't be a dick, and I think that's that's something that people forget sometimes. You know, it's like just don't be a dick. You're you're privileged to be able to play music for a living and not you know sweep up sesame seeds at the bagel shop or serve coffee or work in an office building it's a privilege you know it's not it's not something you're entitled to so when people come up and talk to you you just you know you don't be a dick just in general so Fugazi is a huge influence and this record this is a this is a 12 inch single called Dig It the b-side is called The Choke and it's by a band called Skinny Puppy from Vancouver, who started, I think, in early 80s. They came out of this, uh, there was this new wave band called Images in Vogue that was uh, one of the first network record bands. And uh, the keyboard player from Images in Vogue left to form this incredibly weird, abrasive band that would be, you know, in my opinion, is like a touchstone for pretty much all the industrial music that followed it, like Ministry and uh, what eventually would be huge in the late 90s, early 2000s, like Nine Inch Nails, and unfortunately would morph into new metal. But at the time, I think Skinny Puppy, like here in Vancouver, was making some of the most like interesting, uncompromising electronic music. And I, I don't think there's really been a band that's been as bizarre and as impactful from Canada in any genre since. This is my dad, everybody. This is David. AKA Dan's dad. AKA my dad. And uh, because we're doing this, I wanted to talk about a couple of records that he introduced me to, and I, I wouldn't be playing music if you know I didn't hear these records. So maybe you can talk a little bit about Cosmos Factory by oh. Credence. I think Daniel learned something about guitar playing from these guys in Honest Lyrics. And I was lucky enough to see them back in the day in the late 60s in Vancouver, saw a lot of the bands that were at the peak of their powers then, and, and these guys were just one of the best. I love this record. This is uh, Plastic Ono Band, John Lennon solo record. So, yeah, this has uh, Mother and Working Class Hero and Isolation, and Phil Spector produced this record, so, you know, it sounds great. Some of the tracks on this record remind me of, like, Joy Division almost, you know, there's, there's just this like total bleakness to it. Right. So it was that big a deal, man. It was that big a deal. Go and do what you want, you know, 
You can always leave when the curtain drops And you get tired, tired, tired 